With modern aircraft carriers having crews of over 5,000 sailors, the people who serve and prepare the meals have to know what they are doing, not to mention the logistics involved. Modern replenishment at sea and helicopter replenishment methods are needed to pull all this off. In this video, we explore the interesting world of military dining on an aircraft carrier, where feeding an army of sailors of about 17,000 meals a day is a never-ending task. From the high seas to the high-pressure kitchens, we'll look at the secrets of how these huge floating cities feed their crews. As you can imagine, the logistics and resupply of an aircraft carrier is a massive undertaking. A replenishment ship has to bring more supplies to the carrier every 7 to 10 days. This happens with a method called underway replenishment, as the goods are transferred. While both ships keep sailing parallel to one another, 400,000 to 1 million pounds of food can be transferred from ship to ship. Fresh vegetables only last so long before they need to be replenished. If they're fresh, they contain a lot of water, so the loads of food can weigh many tons. Up to 350 pounds of lettuce alone can be consumed by hungry sailors in a day. Imagine how much has to be transferred every seven days. So they have more variety. Local foods like Greek feta cheese are sometimes sent with the deliveries. Take into account that on average, about 1,600 pounds of chicken, 160 gallons of milk, and 30 cases of cereal can all be consumed by the ship's crew in a single day. All of this food is transferred to the ship along lines that are stretched out between the ships. These lines carry pallets of cargo across, while Seahawk helicopters also help by flying up to three pallets at a time across. This is called vertical replenishment, or vertrip for short. The whole process is designed to go quickly since aircraft carriers are sitting ducks during the procedure. It's also important to note that during unwrap, what they also call underway replenishment, the ships have to maintain the same course or risk being pulled into each other by the racing water between them. The term galley refers to the kitchen of a ship. Nimitz-class aircraft carriers like the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower have up to five galleys. The Eisenhower is able to serve in the vicinity of 13,000 meals every single day. The USS Harry S. Truman, on the other hand, has seven galleys and serves 17,500 meals per day during operational deployment. The USS Gerald R. Ford is the latest and most modern carrier. Its galleys are modeled on those of the San Antonio-class amphibious transport dock. Aboard this bustling ship, only two galleys are active. A lot of space and resources are saved in this way, and it is more efficient. So how do they work, you may ask? In older carriers, culinary specialists were expected to prepare meals separately for officers, chiefs, and the rest of the crew in decentralized galleys. That made the process complicated, and the food was not always the same in each mess. In the Gerald R. Ford, the galleys are centralized, with three different mess areas attached to the galleys. That means fewer culinary specialists are needed, and the process is simpler with standardized meals. Also, this method makes sure that there are no special meals for each rank group and that all meals are cooked to the same standard. If the officers and crew eat the same meals, then the chefs have to produce the best foods. In the modern layout as found on the Gerald R. Ford, the galleys are organized along the center of the ship. These galleys are serviced by pallet-capable elevators situated above the food storage units. This feature is called vertical integration. This means the food can easily be transferred up to the galleys with smaller teams. In the past, 50 to 100 personnel were required just to move food cargo. An aircraft carrier's galley is a busy place where up to 1 million pounds of food or more are served to the sailors each week. A group of about 100 highly trained chefs, bakers, and culinary experts work around the clock in the galley to make sure that everyone on board is nourished and satisfied. On the Gerald R. Ford, the number of chefs is less. Keep in mind that at any time, the number of sailors aboard the carrier can change due to operations, and the culinary personnel have to keep track and prepare the right number of meals. Careful coordination is required. This coordination includes special meals for birthdays and national holidays. The menus also have to be made interesting with special days such as Taco Tuesday and Mongolian grills. All this has to be included in the 21-day menu the U.S. Navy follows. The meals that are prepared have to take into account the physical and mental health of the crew. As we all know, food is the centerpiece of most social gatherings around the world. The crew is no different and needs to feel happy, so care is taken with the preparation and planning of the meals. 
So much so that when a crew member has a birthday, they receive special meals with a set table, wine, and even live music. All that wine has to be transferred aboard. That includes the beverages for bar facilities as well. All of this contributes to a crew with high morale. The food service officer, or FSO, is in charge of overseeing all food preparation on U.S. aircraft carriers. This includes making menus, arranging food supplies, and managing the galley crew. For that reason, they work closely with the commanding officer, CO, and the executive officer, or XO. The sailors on aircraft carriers are fed a range of foods, giving them the energy they need to carry out their responsibilities. Most of the food served on U.S. aircraft carriers is made from scratch and usually meets the dietary needs of the sailors. All food preparation activities take place in the galley, which is run by a group of skilled chefs. The food cooked in the galleys is not just any ordinary food. It is made with the utmost care and accuracy. To provide a constant supply of food throughout the day, the crew of culinary experts work in shifts. The variety of foods offered satisfies a range of preferences and dietary requirements. For instance, meals that are gluten-free and vegetarian are available. On U.S. aircraft carriers, some of the most popular things to eat are different kinds of sandwiches, burgers, and wraps. Also, the sailors are given grilled foods, including chicken, burgers, and hot dogs. Sailors can also get pizza, pasta, and different kinds of salads, so they can eat a variety of foods. Hearty breakfasts are also made in the galleys to get the day off to a great start. Scrambled eggs, bacon, sausage, pancakes, waffles, and oatmeal are a few of the breakfast alternatives. The crew of the galley also makes fresh fruit juices, smoothies, and fresh fruits to provide the sailors with a nutritious start to their day. The meals served on U.S. aircraft carriers are produced with premium ingredients. The ingredients are kept in the ship's pantries and food storage units and come from different parts of the world. The cuisine is prepared in the galleys using top-of-the-line cooking appliances like grills, ovens, and steamers. To ensure that the food is prepared to perfection, the equipment is designed to handle enormous volumes of food and is kept in immaculate condition. The galleys also have a sophisticated food safety program in place to guarantee that the food being served is healthy to eat. The culinary experts are in charge of ensuring that the food is prepared and kept in compliance with stringent standards and receive intensive training in food safety and hygiene. The best food is prepared on American aircraft carriers thanks to the utilization of premium products, cutting-edge machinery, and stringent food safety regulations. The U.S. Navy does not spare any cost when it comes to feeding its sailors. The business of feeding thousands of sailors aboard a modern aircraft carrier is one that takes time, planning, and effort. These men and women are the individuals who are not always noticed, but keep the U.S. Navy moving. They keep the Navy moving, and they maintain and raise the morale of those they serve. Spare a thought for them the next time you see an aircraft carrier. We appreciate you viewing Fleet Files and hope you'll consider subscribing for future episodes. Have a great day, and I hope to see you again in the next amazing video.